Okay guys, so first of all, let's go through the basics of how to hit a push pass. We are using the inside of our foot, this very flat surface area, okay? And we're gonna use it almost like a golf club. So if any of you have played golf before or played crazy golf, you will use that putter, okay? With the flat surface of the putter, and as you come to hit the ball, you will push the putter through the ball to guide the direction that it goes. Okay, it's exactly the same with our leg when we hit the push pass in football. First things first, your non-kicking foot has to be planted next to the ball and the toes point in the direction of the target. As you come through the ball with your passing leg, you're almost making an L, okay? You're making an L with your feet because you want your kicking foot, the toes to be pointing at a 90 degrees angle to the side, okay? And as you contact the ball, you're going to hit the middle of the ball and you're going to stroke through and let your foot come through the ball and that's how you're gonna guide the pass. So, if we look at this target behind me, if you let your leg come through the ball, your foot comes through the ball and you guide the ball, there is no reason why you shouldn't hit that target every time, okay? We often see players hit bad passes a lot of the time because they don't have the follow through. And it's the follow through that gives you the guidance on the ball. Imagine if you go back to that golf example, if you were gonna hit the golf ball with the putter, you wouldn't stop here after you've hit the ball, you would come all the way through the ball and that's how you guide the ball. So if we look at me do the example here, you'll see that now. We have to be aware of weight of pass for two reasons. One, if I don't put enough on this pass, it will get intercepted by the two defenders. They'll step across, they'll block it. Two, if I put too much on the pass, obviously the goalkeeper's gonna be the other side, they're gonna run out and they're gonna be able to get to the ball before Mo does. So we have to work on putting our foot through the ball and working on the weight of the pass to guide the ball and also get the judgment right on the speed. Ready? <laughs> 